Hey guys, Gavin Syme here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to edit your photos way, way faster. PW6 is a preset collection. You can use it in Lightroom, Camera Raw, Photoshop. Today I'm gonna to use it in Lightroom because I think if you're, if you're editing the raw files in the Adobe environment, that Lightroom is the fastest way to do it. We're gonna jump right in here, and you'll see that in PW6, there's a lot of presets. There's the mods, there's the magic presets, all this cool stuff we can do. But we're gonna focus on the basic workflow of editing quickly and getting your images where they need to be. And to do that, we're gonna start with the total tools, the super tools, the fast tools, magic tools, the things that you can use to edit the complete photo as fast as possible and get your images ready to ship. So if you come in here, you'll see we have the presets, but let's actually go out of this develop view and go to the grid view. This is what I call a grid edit. Here we have a bunch of photos, and this is how we torture test sign presets. All these photos from different shoots, some of them exposed great, some of them exposed terribly, some of them with good color, some of them with bad color. The goal in Total Tools is primarily to give you presets that work in any situation. A lot of presets will look great on the demo image, but not great on your images. And there's always a tool in PW6 that will help you edit better, no matter your experience level or what you're shooting. So we're gonna do the torture test and we're gonna take all these images and I'm gonna show you a couple examples of a grid edit. Let's go to PW6 in the Quick Develop and we can just select any preset like Super Chrome, okay? The Super Series are designed to be simple, fast, effective presets that are extremely versatile from super simple, super versatile, which are very light processes, all the way down to things like Super Nature, Super People. In a grid edit, I'll take my images and I'll look here on the screen and I'll say, okay, I've imported a whole bunch of images. I've imported a shoot. I've applied a base preset. How do things look? And basically all I do in that general grid edit is adjust exposure. So what I'm gonna do is quickly select photos that are too light, that are too dark. And I'm gonna quickly take and do minor corrections for my errors of not getting right in camera that sometimes I do when I'm on the go. And in doing this, you'll see I'm selecting uh, with the command and click or control and click, and I'm going two thirds of a stop up or one third of a stop up. And I'm just going through these images and, and finding a balance and a consistency, and I'm doing it very fast. So I'll do a third of a stop, I'll deselect one, I'll do two thirds on the next one, and I'll go through these images, and you can see how in just seconds, and if you're doing a wedding or something like that, this is a massive time saver, because what you're doing is you're starting with a base preset, getting a basic process, then doing a grid exposure edit to make sure all your exposures are dialed in, okay? And just like that, this is 60 images that we did right here, but we did it in a very harsh environment with all these different images that we're dealing with. And you can see how with just a few clicks, we've applied one of the super series presets and a little bit of exposure adjustment. You have all these images. I, I could show all these images to client right now, okay? All these images are suitable. Would I work on them more before printing? Absolutely. But all these images now in just a few minutes, I've taken to a point where they look good there. Let's say I want a little bit of different look. I used the, the Super Chroma. Now we go into the Fast Series. The Fast Series is furiously automated, stunning treatments. Kind of like the Super Series, but not because the Fast Series actually starts bringing in dynamic uh, gradients. It takes advantage of the latest tools in Lightroom to be able to target specific uh, ranges within the zonal range using the gradients. And so it's a very powerful tool and I'll show you a little bit more in the more advanced video about that. I can click the Cine Warm. I've selected all these. I'm just gonna go to PW6 and select the Cine Warm and it's just gonna go through and reprocess all these. Now, like most of our presets, with the exception of specialty presets meant to fix something that's too dark or something like that, most of the presets leave your exposure in your white balance alone. Now you can use the total process preset if you really want to use all of Lightroom's default automatic settings, you can use super automatic, automatic white balance exposure, all that stuff. I find that it doesn't always work that great. It's pretty hard for a computer to guess at what your exposure is. And that's why this grid edit method is so powerful because we can come in, we can apply a base preset, go to the grid, do a quick exposure correction on everything. And then even if I wanna change the entire look of all these images in a consistent theme like I just did by applying, you'll see that they all changed. 
Now, you might be saying, well, these need more work. Sure, before you go to print, take your favorite images. That's when I filter down to five stars and really go to town. But we can take all these images and in just a few minutes, and we can now go into the develop mode and we can say, well, I, I wanna do something different. And that's when we can get into things like, hey, let's use the magic portrait on this. And if we like how the magic portrait looks on this image, we can then quickly hit that G key, go back to the grid and select a group of images and apply the magic portrait to that. Because remember, we've already baselined our exposure. I do this a lot when I'm doing a shoot that changes a lot. I'll do that basic shoot, I'll do that grid edit, and then I'll come in and I'll take groupings of images that let's say are all similar. These were kind of a strobe lit scene. Let's use the fast strobe uh, I want some black and white, let's use fast silver. This is just the first category of PW6. We're gonna dig in more, we're gonna look at the colors, the pixel forge, all the different tools that we can combine to create infinite looks a lot faster than just manually playing with sliders all day long. But the point is, what I wanted to show you here is just how to do a great fast edit. If you apply a simple workflow principle like this with a good set of tools, your editing speed will increase two, three, four, I don't know how many times, but it's going to be a lot faster. But we're gonna go deeper. We're gonna get into the mods, the pixel forge, the creativity. So if you wanna see more, head on over to the website, simefx.com forward slash PW. And I'm gonna do an extended video as we dig into the features. If time is money, then PW6 is an ATM. Guys, I hope you enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know how we can make PW6 even better.